my money attached emotionally. I get the clutch, and if you get too close to me, I'm at the top where I'm supposed to be. Jumping in the gang, niggas act like they coaching me. 400 rats ain't shit, but it's shoulder me. I'm on the road, and I bet that you're hold with me. When I'm in traffic, it's always a pole with me. Tears bearing me, I keep door me. Hit from the back, she giving me slurp, and I ain't even pull my pants down. Jump in the box and slide to the other side, it's always a man down. Draw down, hands in the air, nigga, make one move, get gunned down. Giving out smoke so long, they don't even wanna talk no more, they just run down. No lock doors, I serve with a chop. Good morning! Whoa. And that was mom. <laughs> I Wait. thought we were gonna get a little high or something. They gave me the one flicker flash and they were like, Mom, boy, a business. Hold on, let me try to see if I look alive. Don't mind me, let me just squeeze this humongous vehicle in that little bly spot. Today, we are going to check out one of the brand new BMWs. And funny enough, out of all the vlogs we've done in like the past month, this one is really giving me the new money vibes. The same one we're gonna look for the new money because like an exclusive yeah, feeling. It feels a little exclusive. We don't know what we're looking on. We don't know the specifics. We don't know the details. So y'all are rocking with us and learning it with us at the exact same time as us. Let's see if there's any BMWs there that could impress us enough to get out of a Land Rover. You know what they say? Once you're in a Land Rover, it's hard to go back. You, see, you felt that puddle? Mm. You see my head jerk? No jerking on my head. Man, I got some. Mm, mm, mm. None of them. They get my vibe. What is it? No, no, I'm actually looking at that car. Oh, sure. This is the front door? It is in showroom right here. Yeah, man, so we can park here, sir? Alright, cool. Hmm. Never been in a BMW showroom. Really? I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm doing something cursed right now. I feel like I'm in here once a month. But today we're looking at the i4. The i4. The electric. electric. Ooh, you, you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is Nigel Gardner. Awesome. He's my guy. I've been. He's the guy you go to. All right. <laughs> All right, so today we're looking at the 2023 BMW i4. Uh, it's a fully electric four series, basically. Um, so we're gonna take a test drive. You know, I'll show you some features in the parking lot, which include the park assist, where the car actually parks itself. Let's see, I'm excited. You I'd know, love to see if this and, car could um, get me mentally out of my car into one of these. Yeah, what kind of car you driving? A Defender. A Defender? I've never, yeah. well, my, first, my very first car was a BMW. It was a very old one. It was yeah. my mom's first car. Yeah. Not her first car, but. Yeah. Her first car that she gave to me, I used to drive a, what's that, 02 330. Yeah, yeah, those cars are nice. But ever since then, I haven't stepped foot back in a Yeah. I got transitioned to the Benz yeah. and then a well, Land Rover. Well, let's I've been see stuck this, ever since. Let's, let's see. Let's see if this i4 will change your mind. Have you ever experienced the parking feature where the car actually parks itself? Never. All right, so we're going to do that. Oh, you see that blue car right there? This blue car right there. And the 7 Series up there. We're gonna try to park between them. And what you see on the screen here is the vehicle itself using the sensors to sense, or should I say, to look for a space along with the objects, right? So the first thing you do is you select the symbol for parking space, which you just tap here, and we literally release everything. So what it's gonna do now is it's gonna put itself in drive and straighten right up. I'm not doing anything but shadowing the brake right now. And when it's done, it puts itself in park and it pulls up the power brake. Ah, I like that one. That's right. Ah, that Ooh. one is a feature I don't have. <laughs> I don't have that. Yeah. Next thing I'm going to show you is emergency braking function. Now, there are three cones behind us. All right. So the emergency braking at the rear is on. Cool. All right. You will know when the car actually brakes for itself because you will feel it. Ah, nice. ah. All right, the last thing I'm gonna show you in the parking lot, this reverse assist. The car literally remembers the last 50 meters of you driving forward. All right, so this is gonna be my start point right there. Boom, bam, and so from the point we're just coming at from like right in front of that parking space just now yeah. that's how far it remembers and 
this is where we had started to go over there. Ah, mm. that's awesome. Yeah. So it literally remembers the last 50 meters of you driving forward and it can it can just reverse the same exact way without you touching the steering wheel. Um, you wanna try it? You wanna try that? For sure. Alright. So how do you start? Oh. Put on the brake, start button in the middle. Oh, I got that little, it got that little electric noise. Yeah. And the funny part was I was waiting to hear the engine. Yeah. So it's on now. Yeah, yeah. In terms of public charging. There's almost a charger at every, one in every five gas stations now. So. Oh, release off the brakes. Just shadow it. Just shadow it. Okay. Oh, shoot. I'm not gonna lie, it would take some getting used to for me to watch it happen. Yeah. And not like press the brakes. <laughs> oh shoot! And I like that it's got the heads-up display. Yeah, that one was that feature specifically is in this car. Um, we don't usually order it. It usually adds quite a bit to the. That scares me. Yeah, yep. Scares me indeed. <laughs> it actually is you brake or no? The car actually brake. It actually brake. Oh dear, perfect. <laughs> So it actually works. <laughs> yeah, no, it actually, I was worried. I was like, yeah, yo, should I press the brakes? And it was like, yeah, nah, I got yeah, it. Those, those, those. Nah, and it parks scary. perfectly. Yeah. And funny enough, it was a, from where I was, it was a relatively tight spot mm -hmm. at the position it put itself. Yeah. Nah, that's awesome. They upgraded the suspension on these cars, especially the electrics. So when you're driving them, they feel really smooth on the road. I haven't been in any of the new BMW SUVs, but that's just been, of course, resisting any form of <laughs> temptation. The more you drive them, the more you see them, the more you get enticed. You're like, Jono, yeah. like that one. Yeah. You guys have the new, the new X7s? Um, there's actually one in the showroom right now. It's being prepared for delivery. Oh, so somebody's got their hands on it already. Oh yeah, there's nothing that that hits the ground that doesn't already have a bike. Wow. Yeah. So the X4 that I saw and all the X5, are sold. those the... All already sold. They're all already sold? All already are those already the 2023s? Yeah. Those are the ones I'd love to take a look at. I know, even though no matter how nice of a car I get in, I know the SUVs always have my heart when it come on to country trip, yeah. packing up. The one thing I've always want, I've always said that I, I don't want to ever have a car and be like, Jano, it's space, make a can do a wonder. And on top of that, I tend to not care about road conditions sometimes. It does. So, That's because you drive a boat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I want to just be like, oh, I can't go on this road in this vehicle. I, All right. yeah. Nah, it'll work. <laughs> right. So I just want to say, if I need to go that way, I'm going that way no matter what. Yep, or somebody tell you, road bad, and that's alright, that's alright. So, yeah, man, road bad, alright, don't mean nothing that's to me. Yeah. <laughs> alright, Cameron. Alright. Your time to shine. Also, oh. when you, you put it in part, it just automatically unlocks too? Yeah. yeah. It's got you, all you these little. Turn that feature on and off. It's got all the cool little nicks and features. Alright. Wow, that that silence really is just. Yeah. It's on now? It's yeah, it's on. Definitely. I'll give you a joke. I had a client test driving an electric, sorry, a hybrid X3 mm -hmm. um, when we just got them. And he called me on a few occasions saying that he pressed the start button, but the car is off. <laughs> now I'm confused and I'm saying, what? So when he finally got to the dealer, I'm looking at it and I sit down in the car with him and he starts the car. So you see, look. And I say, <laughs> oh, right. It's a hybrid. So what's gonna happen is the engine not going to turn over. Uh, no, I feel like an idiot. Cause I gave my client the car to drive. You know, that was a learning experience for both of us. Cause he was like, oh, I didn't know either. So, well, we just learned something new. It's we learned. Yeah. The best part about it being a silent start is when I'm leaving the house late at night, no my main thing is, no the the cold start oh, or the defender okay, it's okay. rattling my mom's yeah. window okay okay everybody okay. now all of a sudden everybody want to know where you're going where you're going yeah, yeah but with yeah, this yeah. year i just get a little yeah, yeah. so we got a little space here so i'm just gonna give it a little punch so we're at 40 kilometers Ooh. yeah that's instant that's just 
in support on that. And... Ah, that's like a space. <laughs> Thing I was yeah, yeah, nah, I, like I hear it. it. That's, yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. Um, but those are mild hybrids as well? Yeah, the new X7s, the new X5s, the new X6s. All of them mild hybrid. Presidential step out on mm, I'm clear to see I'm oh look you don't feel small back here at all talk to him I mean the electric was nice but did you hear that a while ago did you hear that guys I had a good time looking at the electric car I won't lie these right here definitely do have my heart a little bit more the X4s and the X5s but the Defender still reigns champ in my heart. I'm still loving it, still sticking by you. I'm gonna I'm stick beside you. We had a good time though. I love seeing new tech. I love seeing what car companies are doing. Shout out to BMW for letting us actually pull through and shout out to Cameron for setting up the Connect so we could test drive that. I had a good time. The car drives good. And I just love the new tech. I'm not gonna lie. I, knew, I love new things. I love shiny things. I love flashy things. <laughs> and. The car checked all of those boxes. The parking and the reversing was really something I didn't expect. I didn't know that car had that feature and it was pretty amazing. I won't lie. Nasty and the car? Yes, sir. That is it. And that's all we can really say. Stick around. You guys know what we do. You'll never know what's coming next from us, but that's how we love to keep it. Today, you got to see us test drive a car. Tomorrow, we might test drive a boat, a rocket, a spaceship. One of those cars right there, something, you never know.